if you're looking for a crypto project that combines artificial intelligence, machine learning and blockchain in one powerhouse platform, then I think you might like Fetch AI. Its token FET is opening doors to decentralized AI in ways most people haven't even imagined yet. And what I'm seeing in the charts today could mean some exciting shifts in the price action. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I've been specializing in new technologies, cryptos, stocks and divergence trading strategies for the last 10 years. Today we are diving into Fetch AI, a project that's democratizing access to AI and creating some major buzz in the blockchain space. And if you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Alright, let's jump right in. Fetch AI, or FET for short, launched back in 2019, and it's all about bringing AI tech to the masses through a decentralized platform. I know, sounds a little bit technical, but think of it this way. Fetch AI is creating a world where machines, like robots or software programs, can trade and manage data all by themselves. It's like having your own personal assistant on the blockchain, but these digital twins can do everything from optimizing energy grids to managing your crypto trades. And all of this without needing someone to control them constantly. Fetch AI makes all this happen with its token FET. This token is the fuel that powers everything on the platform. If you want to create your own digital twin, train it to do certain tasks, or deploy it to work for you, you use FET tokens. The best part is you do not need special permissions or to be a tech genius to get involved. Anyone can jump in and start using Fetch AI. You might be wondering, how can I actually use Fetch AI if I don't know anything about coding or about AI? Don't worry, it's way simpler than it sounds. Fetch AI is built so that you don't need to be a tech expert to take advantage of what it offers. It's like using an app on your phone. You don't need to understand how the app is built, you just need to know how to use it. Fetch AI works similarly, but instead of apps, it has these things that we call digital twins that I mentioned, that you can set up to do specific jobs for you. Like most crypto projects, the first step is to have a crypto wallet, like MetaMask. This wallet lets you store and manage your FET tokens, the money or fuel for Fetch AI. Once you've got some FET tokens, you can use them to access Fetch AI platform. But don't worry, you don't need to build anything from scratch. Fetch AI already has tools and services that you can use. For example, one of their applications helps automate trading on Uniswap, a popular crypto exchange. So instead of manually buying and selling tokens, you can set some basic rules and Fetch AI does the trading for you. You don't have to write any code or do anything complicated. Most of the interactions are simple and user-friendly. Fetch AI's goal is to make sure everyday people can take advantage of AI technology and not just big tech companies. All right, it's time to look at the price trends now. So we're starting off by looking at a weekly candle chart because it gives us a really good overview of the price trends on a broader scale. This time frame is perfect for spotting big movements and it also lets us see what the indicators are telling us. Now check this out. There is a clear disconnect between the price and the MACD line. What this shows is that we are seeing divergences at this level, and I'm almost certain we'll spot even more when we'll zoom in to smaller time frames. Here is one example. We've got a hidden bullish divergence, which I've marked in green. While this doesn't seem to indicate a massive price shift, and we cannot really fully measure its impact, 
because we do not have enough historical data for this particular crypto to compare the second low on the divergence on the MACD and the valuation of what the price usually is at that level. So next, let's dive into smaller time frames and take a look at a daily candle chart to get more insights. And here, we're starting to see a lot of signals popping up. And here's where things get a bit tricky. We've got mixed signals coming in. And this is going to be a challenge when reading what the chart is telling us. Let me explain and let me show you. First off, take a look at these bare hidden divergences. There's one here, another one right after that, then a smaller one, and yet another one here these are hidden divergences and what they are suggesting is that the price is likely to keep moving downward so we've been seeing a series of these signals stacking up but here things are getting interesting you can see the price starting to move up and you can also see two clear tops forming on both the price and the macd line this create a new divergence, but this time it's a reversal divergence. And what that tells us is that the price has to pull back a bit from here. But we may be at a point where we are starting to reverse and the price is trying to adjust where it's going next because it won't go in a straight line. It will always go up and retrace, go up and retrace. So here's something else we need to consider. All those hidden bearish divergences we've spotted, they each played out one by one. But the real question is, could they be building up into something bigger? Think about it. If we combine all these smaller divergences, we're looking at the potential for one large accumulated divergence. And what's interesting about that is this bigger divergence hasn't fully played out yet. So we could be sitting on a significant move that could be potentially a lot more dramatic and tragic and that didn't even start materializing yet. That's definitely something to keep in mind as we move forward, because if this big divergence does play out, it could lead to a much stronger price action than we've seen so far. But here's the thing, we've already created a new high that's actually higher than what we saw in the previous accumulated divergences. So the earlier high I marked for that divergence, yeah, it's no longer valid for our calculations because this new high takes over. Let's go ahead and adjust for that. Now. Watch as I redraw the divergence. By doing that, we're also changing the potential impact. What we end up with now is a smaller divergence. And since it's less significant, it means the price action that follows will likely be less dramatic as well. And here's the point I'm trying to make. If the price keeps climbing and we see more new highs forming, this divergence will continue to shrink, meaning the potential impact of it gets smaller and smaller with each new high. So what I'm really getting at here is that the tricky part with hidden divergences is that they're constantly shifting until they actually start to play out. New highs or new lows can totally change the impact of the divergence and sometimes they even cancel themselves out completely. That's why it's so hard to plan accurately around them. And honestly, that's why I'm going to leave this particular hidden divergence behind for now and focus on something more promising, a reversal divergence. This one is much more likely to materialize because it does not depend on a specific high in the price. Instead, it's all about the MACD line confirming the divergence, which gives us a much clearer signal to work with. So what we're seeing now is the formation of a reversal bearish divergence. This started happening because the price began to climb and potentially to reverse. What this divergence is signaling to us is that the price probably won't shoot up too quickly from here. Instead, we're looking at a retrace down to around $1.40. Now, here's something really exciting I can't wait to share with you. 
we've got a reversal bull divergence here in green that's been quietly forming in the background while the price has been dropping. What's super interesting about this one is that it's only getting stronger over time. So what we want to do next is calculate the potential price target for this divergence. To do that, we're going to focus on the two lows on the MACD line that corresponds to this divergence. We'll take the most recent low and draw a horizontal line at that level. Then we'll trace it back to where it intersects with the MACD line before the first low on this divergence. Once we've got that intersection on the MACD line, the next step is to look directly above it and see what price point it corresponds to on the price chart. That's going to give us a clearer idea of the potential price target for this divergence. And that price target will be about $3.40 before January 2025, and that will be 2.5 times the current price. And if the price does head in that direction, it will likely do so by creating a series of higher and higher tops. So what happens to that previous hidden divergence we talked about? The one that was relying on a top forming. Well, it's eventually going to settle at the most recent highest top that gets created. Okay, guys, that's all that I have for now. So I want you to remember that this is crypto and you always need to be extra cautious when we talk about crypto. Even what I say, don't take it as facts. Always do your own research. I can make mistakes and my trading strategies are never guaranteed. So always also have a great risk management plan. You're welcome to comment if you see something I've missed or if you disagree or if you agree with my predictions. Your feedback is always welcome. Let me know also if you want me to dive into a specific crypto for you. I'll be happy to do so. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Until next time, keep an eye on the trends, stay curious and let's navigate these crypto waves together.